Dorcas Geruto, people call me that. Uh, and I, my company, let me, see, let me go to, yeah. Yeah. My company is, uh, we are African International. It's a family limited company. It is here in, uh, in Holland, in Rotterdam, and also in Kenya. And what we do is uh, we organize workshops, and it's called Road to Noreb. I'll explain to you later what Noreb means. We have incoming and outgoing transmissions to and from Kenya. So we have a mission and a vision. We call ourselves we are the bridge between Europe and international companies and expertise in the agriculture technology for farms, for farming, but we also do other things. So when we do that, then we create a new culture of doing business through knowledge transfer and fair trade for the people who are doing um, agricultural produce. I told you about Noreb. Noreb, seven counties came together and they joined hands and they called themselves North Rift Economic Block. El Gue of Maracuet, which are where I come from, is a county. So I will focus only on El Gue of Maracuet, but I have access to all other counties. My network is very big in Kenya. So also, as I told you, we have trade missions. So we do it in uh, outgoing from Netherlands or Europe, the rest of the world in May and November. Incoming from Kenya is two times also in June and September. So you can imagine last year, I didn't do anything. So I'm very broke. <laughs> there was nothing. I was supposed to do all this and earn a lot of money, but COVID spoiled everything, but we're surviving. Now, Kenya, I'm sure all of you know about Kenya. Do I have to explain a lot? But Kenya uh, is, a, is a very huge and beautiful country and it borders Sudan, Somalia, Uganda, Tanzania and the Indian Ocean. We're just right down here at the Indian Ocean also, Mombasa. And it has a presidential system with the Senate and parliament. The shilling is the currency. Population is approximately well, this was as of 2019, so I'm sure now people have, people have not died a lot, so maybe it is 40, 50. Now, Kenya is divided to 47 counties with its own parliament and, you know, what they, what they do. The economy relies on tourism, which has really, really gone down this last year. Tea, coffee, the coffee you drink in your office, you drink in your house, must somewhere, somehow from Kenya and uh, other produce from Kenya, avocados. Now let us focus to El Goe Maracuet. Uh, El Goe Maracuet is uh, one of the counties of Kenya and it borders the West Pokot, other county to the north, Baringo, East, Wasingishu, West. Wasingishu, that is an airport at Eldoret. So you can, we fly from Netherlands to Nairobi and to, from Nairobi, we, we, we go to, was it, to Eldoret. That's where the airport is. And from there, we, we travel by car to Maracuet East. Uh, population is about half, uh, 500,000, uh, almost half a million, and about 900, about 100, no, yeah, uh, 908 something household with an average person. Uh, per, per, per household. Density 150 kilometers square. So there is a lot of space which nobody lives in. Now, then we focus, of course, also to Maracuet East. I come from this place because uh, El Geo Maracuet has sub counties. And in the sub counties, you have uh, uh, four wards. You can see in this color. Here is uh, Embol this one, this color. Embolot is it, has, it is a highland. So in the highlands, they call it because it is cold. It can go up to minus one degrees in the night. And people here rear sheep. They grow a lot of potatoes, sweet potatoes. And then here, Endo Ward, that's where I come from, lowlands. The lowlands are very hot. It, it can be uh, 30 degrees. Uh, during the day, 
So it's quite hot. And in the evening, it's about 18. So, and people here, uh, there's a lot of mangoes, a lot of uh, people rare uh, livestock, goats, and and um, and cows. And then it's a breed upper low. It has upper, which is very cold, and lower, which is hot. Population of this Marrakech East is about 80,000. So 100 people per square kilometer. It is a very big, it has, uh, it has a embobut. I don't know if you ever had the forest. It's a very, very uh, well generous water for even, even washing issue. And as I said before, the athletics coming from this area, those who run at the marathon, it's a very beautiful um, place to be because it is, it is, uh, it's, it's a, it's a career valley, and it's very good for photography. You can stand up at the mountain and see even Egypt. So that's how beautiful it is. Uh, so I have projects in this area. Um, we want to generate electricity through solar. And in El Geo Maracuay, there is only has only 2.5 mega, megawatts that we get from the county's feeders. We need at least 7.5 to 10 extra megawatts in order to start industries in the county and also to reach every household with electricity. You know, in this in this county, there is no electricity because you know when it rains, the poles fall down, and yeah, so. And then Maracuet East has less than 0 0.1 access to electricity. So if we build this solar, solar energy, it, uh, it will really help the people. Uh, the project will be shared at Maracuet East. I feel calm because that's where the sun is. You need sun, so you need to, 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 to put it there. So what do we need people? If you know people who invest in pre-feasibility pre study, because we, we need to know how much uh, it costs. We have not yet determined that. And after that, we can, you know, we can build the, we can start a project. I'm comfortable to do in Maracuet East because at the moment I am trying to, to run to be a member of parliament for that place. Because I know that when I am, when I become a member of parliament, I have the, I have the opportunity to make things happen. Then I can control the political part of it of this narrative, what is happening. So, and for the people also, uh, they are very poor. So they need to be uplifted somehow, you know, with, with, you know, with all these things. So collaboration with this project will be, will be with the county government of Elgeo Maracuet, Minister of Energy and Energy Regulation Commission. This will give us the permits and this, the county will give us incentives and then this project will also creation of huge employment for the youth and women. I don't know, maybe in your countries, the youth, if they have jobs, but in Maracuet, it's nobody has a job, especially now, there are no jobs. So we, we need to create employment for them. And this project could really, could really, really, really come, you know, handy. Um, so, and then the remaining electricity. So we want to, to, to connectivity to be 100% to the Easterners and the rest you can sell to the national grid. There is a good money, you know, owning electricity company. It's very good. People pay. And uh, so this collaboration will be under private public partnership. This public private partnership is that you are given, let's say 10 years tax-free incentive to, to get your money to your country. So tax-free, you don't need to pay anything with just 10 years. After that, of course, you have to pay whatever the government will want. Uh, so that is me, it is very fast. And I would like you to ask, to ask me questions. <laughs>